What is going on, everybody? This is Overcast, episode number 20, a very special holiday edition of Overcast. Oh, I'm Frosty, joined as always by Chris Matrix. What is going on, my friend? Hey, guys, what's going on? It is, uh, it's very, very cold here. Um, <laughs> it's very cold in space. <laughs> but it is an absolute pleasure to be joining you guys here on Thanksgiving weekend. I, yes. of course, again, Chris Matrix. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're not watching live, thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you for listening on iTunes, That's Podbean, right. whatever kind of medium you decide to listen to us on. Um, exactly. And remember, you can yeah. always connect with us on Twitter, at Overcast Show, our blog page, which has the links to every way to get a hold of us and all of our different media at theovercastshow.blogspot.com. You can also listen to the audio version currently on iTunes and Podbean. Hopefully adding uh, Stitcher and SoundCloud here very, very shortly. This is all under FrozenFoxRadio.com where you can find this and all of our other shows. That is the intro. Thank you again for joining us. Now, how are you doing? It's funny. It's funny because I've been railing on Bryce for the last like two weeks to try to get him to do a proper introduction to this daggone show. (laughs) And it's about time. It's about time. We're we're, we're, we're still in the R&D phases of it, but we'll, we'll get it down. We're stepping it, it up. Down. We're stepping it up. Uh, what have I been doing? Um, well, regrettably this week, I haven't had a whole lot of time to play Overwatch. Oh, um, what? What? Just yeah, kidding. I know. Right? <laughs> I have this amazing five-day weekend, and it's all been spent prepping for the holidays. Of course, spending time with family, spending time with loved ones, all that fun stuff. And uh, Understandable. I'm, Understandable. I'm a, I'm, a little, I'm a little regretful to say that I started playing Black Ops 3. Oh, oh, ah, blasphemy, oh, right? No. <laughs> blasphemy, and and the sad part is, is I'm actually having fun with it. No, uh, it, it sounds it sounds like it's gotten uh, better. It was better than expected. Would you say that? Yeah, um, I it, it feels more like the older Call of Duty games, which makes me feel a lot better playing it. <laughs> Because I was just expecting, you know, noob tubes and freaking shotguns <laughs> everywhere. And you know what? There's still shotguns everywhere. But you can beat them. So, you know what? I'm happy with it. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, I have been... Okay, I, I will admit I shouldn't have railed on you for that because I haven't been playing that much Overwatch. Just here and there. It is... Finals have rained down upon me. It is that time of the year where... I study a whole lot and a lot more than I already was studying. So, yes, I I am guilty of the same problem. <laughs> but and it and it's not even a game that took me away from Overwatch. It's the law. <laughs> oh, the law. The yes. good old law. You've got finals coming up, yeah. Yes, they begin next week and they go all the way through that week and the next week. So. Two that weeks sucks. of fun. Two weeks of finals. What the hell are you? What, what the hell kind of school are you attending? Law school. That's that's what it's Ugh. like. Yeah. Nah. If that's law school, I'll I'll stick to my no college. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'd I'd almost recommend it for most people at this point. You probably you know, unless you really want to do it, don't go to law school. Honestly. But yeah, en- enough much. about enough about law school, right? Who else hear about yeah, law let, school? Let, let's talk Overwatch. <laughs> um, <laughs> For this week's topics, we uh, we have a few. Uh, we've got the uh, stress test weekend roundup. Yes. We have blue posts on future tweaks. A uh, little bit of hero balance commentary, which I'll get into. Hopefully, not too <laughs> too much. And then uh, stuff about the Blizzard store. So uh, why don't we get on rolling with it? Let's start with the uh, stress test weekend. Well, there were some amazing stats that came out this weekend. We we got a little roundup about what happened. There was 350,332 matches played in total. In other words, there was a lot of Overwatch played. Yeah, and the average match length was 8 minutes and 6 seconds, which actually didn't surprise me. That's that's about average, yeah. wouldn't you say? Just a, That's just a little longer than uh, what people in the normal closed beta are doing. I believe the old average was 7 minutes 34 seconds. Yeah. So a lot of that probably had to deal with people learning the game. I mean, it's really not that huge. Um, they did release the four champions, one in each role, who had the highest win rate. Yep. <laughs> None of which I was really surprised. Well, one I was really surprised about. <laughs> but uh, the other three, not so much. For offense, um, the highest win rate was Soldier 76, which, yeah, of course. Why not? 
because it, it makes he's sense. Freaking Soldier Seventy Six. Last night I was running with uh, with a bunch of friends, and uh, we literally did a four Soldier Seventy Six plus Reinhardt and Lucio comp. <laughs> oh wow! I mean, that sounds like on. fun. I, I feel like Soldier Seventy Six needs a little bit of a nerf, but you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. Um, it is what it is. That's true. I I could see Cell seventy six being there. It seems like he's just kind of that well, well rounded guy that you just got to have. Plus, I, I agree. Who can he heal probably, himself and everybody else, he, and has <laughs> auto aim and can sprint and yeah, his kit's broken. Like I was, like you said, he needs a little bit of nerf. Maybe uh, I don't. I, what I was surprised a bit. when I when I first got my hands on him was the fact that. I thought the sprint was just temporary, kind of like, you know, it's like Call of Duty. You sprint for a few seconds and then it cools down. That's not Call of Duty, that's Battlefield. It, well, it was in Call of Duty, too. I don't know if it's been like that all the way now in Call of Duty. Mm-mm. But no. back in the old the old Call of Duty days, like Modern Warfare 2, you got a little bit of a sprint boost and then you had to, like, wait and then do it again. Yeah, not so much anymore. Not no. so much, yeah. But with 76, I was surprised that you could just... You know, sprint across the whole map if you want to. Cry and, nerf. Uh, Cry nerf. We're gonna we're gonna make a we're gonna make a nerf bats uh, animation. We're gonna Kaplan, do that. make it happen. <laughs> All right, what about the tank? Diva is the highest win rate tank. Not surprised. Not surprised. Uh, that that Diva's, defense matrix. <laughs> yeah, the defense matrix and Diva's ability to basically go anywhere on the map she wants. I mean, she yeah. can flush out a sniper really quickly, which in North America, of course. Sniping's the way to go. You have to have a sniper on every team. Not so much in Europe, but over here, it's, yeah, you don't have a sniper. You're pretty much just boo-boo. Yeah, it's like so, understood, right? <laughs> yeah, but Diva's, Diva's ability to close in and flush out snipers and anybody that's kind of like in a hold-up position, like a Torbjorn or a Bastion, or even, you know, Reinhardt's who are, you know, holding down a choke, you know, Diva counters that. So it makes yep. it really easy. And not surprised, I'm not surprised in the slightest, that Diva has the highest win rate of the tanks. Yeah. Defense, I was a little bit perturbed when I saw it. Pert- perturbed? <laughs> yeah. I was surprised at, the, at who it was, actually. Guys, Torbjorn had the highest win rate this weekend. Guys, <laughs> why is everybody playing Torbjorn? Why? I, I don't know. I, I thought it would have been I'm Bastion. Not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. Screw Torbjorn, dude. He is so <laughs> boring to play. Like... He's right up there with Symmetra. Like, this, this is no fun. You literally just sit there and bang on a turret. Bang on a turret. The, I, I've bang seen... On, no. I, I've seen quite a few plays of the game that were just somebody banging on a turret. Yeah. And then kills coming up. That's all I've it was. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> I've gotten, like, four or five kills with a Torbjorn turret, and that was play of the game, and I was just mashing away on the freaking turret with my hammer when I had Molten Core active. Oh, goodness. But, it's not fun. Well, well. Speaking and, of Symmetra, she was the top win rate support class. Not surprised. I'm not surprised either because it seems like we'll get into a little bit later. But Blizz is kind of just letting her go. They they helped her out a little bit, and they're just kind of letting it slide. Now she's broken again, but you know. But they they did say that they're gonna work on tweaking her down a little bit after the new year. Yeah, so, after right. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, Blizzard. I love you guys, but what the hell? It's like, let's, let's get on it, right? <laughs> it is what it is. Well, but, you know. Yeah. What well, can you... th- there, was, there was some quality of life things coming out of all this, you know, stress test weekend and some interviews coming down the pipe. And people have been asking about some different things to be put into the game to make life a little bit better for all of us that play the game. So... The biggest one I, I I thought was, and I put it first on our list that we want to talk about, was the kill notification. Kill feed, right? Yep, kill feed, definitely. I feel like, as a competitive player, is uh, almost a necessity. Yeah. I mean, having to like look around everywhere, trying to find skulls everywhere to see how many people on your team are down or pressing tab, it, it no. Blizzard, yeah. no. Stop the, it. When you when you push tab and you got to see, too, the, the screen, you know, the scoreboard is so big, you're searching for a few seconds... Who's dead? Who's alive? Who's dead? Who's alive? Yeah, no. and it's not like you can literally just tap, like, just go, like, like tap, tap, and instantly know, okay, I've got four members on my team down, three members on the No. You have to, like, sit there, look, okay. And, yeah, no. No, Blizzard, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Like, 
and thank I'm I'm so happy that like the basically the whole community came forward on this like because in other games that I play, Call of Duty, <laughs> nah, hey. Counter Strike, Dirty, like all the all the first person shooters that I play online nowadays have a kill feed, exactly. and that kill feed is extremely crucial to know. Okay, I have you know okay, this member just died, this member just died, we just killed these three people. We we need it. We need it. And there's, if, if if we don't get it, we're going to be sad and a little bit angry. I, I think it's going to happen. It sounds like it is. They said they came up with it internally in the alpha. They're discussing it ever since then. And they said they have a solution. They just uh, haven't been entirely ready to release the solution yet. So it, just give it us anything better, at this point. It better right? be an actual kill feed or it better be something to at least let us know on our head. Okay, these people are dead. These people are alive. <laughs> yeah. At the very least. Uh, next thing they touched on a little bit was MMR ranked play and being able to actually see your matchmaking rating. Mm. Mm. I like that. Mm. I'd like to know where I stand. That's a that's a hint at ranked play. Mm. But <laughs> as we've already seen, if it doesn't make it into release, they will work on it as a priority in a future patch. Yep. Blizzard. Come on. How many games do you have that have ranking systems already? It's not that hard. You've yeah. done it three times already. It, this is this is all just stall PR, I think. They're just like, just just chill, just hold on, it's coming. It's coming down the pipe. They're just uh Oh as long as this as long as like this, the kill notifications, all things like this aren't just some kind of gimmicky thing. Yeah. It'll be fine. How about crosshair customization? You wanna tweak how your crosshairs look? I mean, you, you can. It's Fine. all really a matter of preference. I really don't care either way. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it would be nice for some people to have their, you know, the regular, you know, crosshairs like that. But well, yeah, whatever. I'm not. I'm not too hype on it. I really don't care either way. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I actually have had a question about and was wondering if they're going to do anything about was the teleporter teleporter direction on Symmetra. So when she lays down a teleporter, when you run through it and you run, like, into a wall <laughs> I don't, or something? They don't give a crap about that, really. <laughs> like, there's whatever. If your Symmetra doesn't know how to lay your teleporter down properly, then she's not a good Symmetra. <laughs> Sorry. That I, I can't argue with that. That's that's exactly right. So, I don't know. Maybe they, they said, what do they say? This has been on our polish some list for some time. They'll check into it. I don't really need, think it needs it. It's just something it I was need wondering it. People about. People just need to learn how to place their stupid teleporters. <laughs> exactly. Come on. You don't like, face the teleporter exit into a freaking wall, into a that's corner. That's the fun part. You get out there and you're like, where am I at? Where did hey I even guys, spawn on the freaking map? Hey guys, guess what? Her teleporter, the exit, is facing her. <laughs> so when you place your teleporter, don't be in a corner. Because you're going to make them go run right into a corner. Yep. Then you're going to get shot in the back, Battlefield 4 style. <laughs> oh, well. No, that's Call of Duty style. <laughs> oh, Call of Duty style. <laughs> pretty much any other, like, one of the popular uh, American shooters, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, we did have a little bit of hero balance to talk about, Bryce. Did you want to go ahead and start on that one? Yeah, I'll, I'll run right in through Symmetra right now. And this is where we were basically saying... She uh, needed a little bit of help, and then they said, okay, we'll give you a little bit of help. We'll boof, boost you a little bit, give you a little bit of buff, and then now she's broken again. And this is what they it said. It wasn't a little bit of help. It was a lot of bit of help. It was a lot of help, yeah. They said Symmetra I mean, is a good example of tuning both balance and feel. Okay, well, uh, they, they basically go on to acknowledge that Symmetra is powerful and mm -hmm. that they had limited her a little bit too much, and now they've gone and blown the top off of it. And so, she's still boring as hell to play. Yeah. So they they worked on balance, but they did jack crap with feel. Yeah, I I, I don't I know. Mean, they they didn't do no they they seriously they didn't do jack crap to her feel. Oh, I feel you on that. I oh I there you uh, go. I was gonna say feel on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they I agree. I don't know what they can do with her though. Like what do you what feel? I don't know what to change Maybe about her like that. Extend the range on her left click. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah. You, you literally have to be up in a Winston's face in order to get your tether <laughs> on him. That's, that's true. Just, that's so stupid. Like, you're going to give someone, like, what does she have, 150 HP or 200? I think she has anyway, 200. 
doesn't matter. It's still crap. Yeah. And she doesn't do a whole lot of damage by herself. With her turrets, yes, she does plenty of damage. But you know, her close range play is just so stupid right now. <laughs> it, it's it's stupid. And it's, no, you, you're not going to take a, lo- a, a melee range engagement with a Symmetra when you're against a tank. Yeah, that's that's just not or or even a McCree or a Genji or a Tracer or a Reaper or even a Pharah. <laughs> it's just not going to work out in your favor Yep. because you have no range. They can outrange you. Yep. They can out damage you and they can outmaneuver you. That's it. I mean, their Symmetra just feels so clunky right now that I'm not surprised people don't play her. It's just crap. I wonder if that contributed to her being the highest win rate. It's a possibility. I mean, you have a less of a sample size. Yeah. You know, people who know how to play her well, of course, will do well with her. Doesn't mean she's still boring as hell to play. <laughs> I don't play her. Neither do I. I don't like. I don't like playing her. I think she's really boring to play. I, I remember that first time you played her too, and you were like, this... "Nope." <laughs> yeah. I was just like, "Nope." <laughs> Not gonna do this anymore. Right off of her. <laughs> played her for about what three or four minutes i was like nope nope i'm no. going back to lucio yep and because lucio can actually fight <laughs> and basically like i said they said we're gonna just wait and see we're just gonna wait and see until they tune her down so we know she's gonna get a nerf but who knows when she needs more than just a nerf she needs complete quality of life changes but we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll go into that as the like, changes come closer yeah it'll like, happen we'll some... talk about it how about Widowmaker and Mercy? They put them together as a combo, and they wanted to address them as a combo. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. They were powerful as all get out. Uh, a damage-boosted Widowmaker is beyond deadly. Still is, too, if they are accurate and know how to aim. Yep. Um, the reason why they tweaked this down was because, well, you could shoot a McCree in the foot and still one-shot him. <laughs> I yeah. mean, and there, there's there's no reason why that should be in the game. No reason at all. It's completely stupid. It literally make Widowmaker brainless. Yeah. Just plink, plink, plink here and there. And we we have still the situation where if you're damage boosting, you can still take out a Winston. 500 health, two shots. So yeah. it's damage boosting is still viable, but like they said, they want to make sure that you don't if you have a, a win or if you have a widowmaker and a mercy they're not just always going to be linked so that's part of the damage reduction nerf that that mercy got and now and the damage reduction that widowmaker got and the damage reduction that widowmaker got exactly and just like they said they wanted to have you make that choice between damage boosting and healing and they accomplished it with me like immediately after the nerf i was like okay i've really got to change my strategy on how i'm going to go around the map who am i going to heal healing became definitely more of a priority than damage boosting after that nerf and Mm -hmm. yeah it was it was definitely the intended uh thing and definitely worked out in my in my end where i saw it so i i don't know if you saw the same thing yeah i mean when i play mercy i'm not permanently stuck to one person anymore so it's nice there you go so how about zarya so they said i don't even know why zarya made this list she hasn't gone through any changes that, I was intrigued about that too. They, they said Zarya and Yada weren't as good as they were they were expecting them to be, basically based off their experience internally, and they wanted them to uh, both be really different and kind of like Widowmaker and McCree. Well, they are but different. They are different. They have completely different play styles, and they're both effective. Yeah. I've seen a Zenyatta basically hold down an entire team. Oh yeah. I've what? seen Azaria literally be I, able to set up ultimates and wipe entire enemy teams. I see no problems with these two champions or heroes. Sorry. Yeah, I don't see the need for it. They said that Zarya could use like quality of life buffs, but I don't see any like, problem with her. She can still wreck what you. What would they buff? Yeah. yeah like, what would they buff? There's, <laughs> I honestly, well, I could see them buffing her left click. The little beam that she shoots out forward. I mean, yeah. the range. The range feels good. But the damage, even when you have, you know, the shield passive, you know, maxed out, still feels kind of lackluster. So I could see them doing that. But beyond that, no, I, I don't see anything that Zarya really needs. Like the feedback they said was that it was hard to tell if she's a threat when you're playing against her. I, I think she was always a threat to me. 
<laughs> Hard to She's tell. She's a tank. If you... an enemy is a threat. Hmm. Blizzard, Let's see. Remove, remove head out of nether region. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that just is a very nebulous statement to me, but whatever. Fair, that was such a general. That's like saying, "Oh, Widowmaker can snipe people." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Good okay. Job. Good job. Good job. You, you recognize you, her class. <laughs> you get a gold star for the day, Blizzard. <laughs> Come on. Like, and and I know I'm talking a lot of crap on you know what they're saying and all that, but most of this is stuff we've already like, we either already know or they're just blanketing statements, and that's yeah. mostly because they don't want to release anything. Which yeah. I'm okay with whatever, but I would feel that it was just best just be, unsaid. Don't be politicians. Be a game development company. Yeah. Holy crap. Either say what you want to say or don't say anything at all. I, I'm, say what I, you say. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not going to fault them if they don't come out and release these huge lists of nebulous statements and vague generalities. I don't, I don't need that. Yeah, like, like, guys, come on. You're just Now you're just saying stuff to say stuff. Like, come on. If, if you have nothing to say, don't say it. Or just say, we're working on it. Well, let's talk about Bastion and Torbjorn, who always receive the highest amount of complaints especially with you know new people playing mm-hmm. so that's just... why Torbjorn had the highest win rate because there were so many noobs in the stress test weekend <laughs> that's why I was yes. surprised it wasn't Bastion <laughs> yeah. I didn't see a whole lot of Bastions over the stress test weekend to be completely honest the few that I saw got switched off right away because they were getting wrecked by the people who had been in the beta longer and already knew how to counter it so. and exactly and here's the general statement both characters can dominate the battlefield given the right circumstances, but they can be also frustrating to play if the enemy knows how to counter them. Well, that's that's any that's, class. That's any character. Any, any okay, hero. So so read on. <laughs> they didn't give any details, but they are both receiving changes of, about uh, further reaching than that they... Oh, okay, let me start that over. Wow, that was like an awful read of that. They didn't give any details, them being Blizzard, but they will both be receiving changes that are more, quote, further reaching than we've seen before. There we go. So in other words, they're either going to completely redesign the heroes or they're going to buff them to where they just become gods. Yeah. So if you didn't think that a, like a couple bastions together was bad enough, you know, until you countered them, wait until when they do this, right? Yeah, well, we'll see what happens, right? I mean... It all depends on what they decide to do. I mean, the Bastion we see next year could be completely different than the Bastion we know today. So. Yeah. Well, they did say it would be... A, it, it, the changes would be about their core gameplay themselves. So, not about, just not just about numbers. So, we'll see. I don't know what else... What are you going to change about Bastion in his core gameplay? Like, he turns into you a turret. make him be able to move while he's a turret now? That would be stupidly oh. broke. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun to go against. <laughs> oh, dear. Give him jetpacks. We'll, we'll give him jetpacks so he can get up like in a sniper nest too. Kill yourself. <laughs> no, I will not accept that. I will stop playing Overwatch if that happens. <laughs> oh dear. And oh, I didn't put it in the show notes, but what do you think about rating people in the game? Because we have the new rating system where we can rate the match and the players in the match. It's a it's a temporary system just used to gauge their matchmaking so on yeah. and so forth so I really have no opinion on it I like being able to do it I wish I knew kind of a general place of where I was rated kind of like on Xbox Live you know, yeah. people say you're favorable unfavorable to play with the only other thing is I wish like the uh, the little place where you click the buttons had who they were playing so I don't have to sit there and look back and see who they were playing because so I don't remember half these people's names if they're not people I'm playing with I do like that it saves people that you're already playing with. It saves your preference on them, so you don't have to like re-click a billion buttons. Yeah, I mean, I I really have no thoughts on it. It's just it's there. Yeah. Whatever. All right, and there's it's Black Friday was yesterday, mm-hmm. so let's let's talk about Blizzard Black Friday, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the the gear store right now has a bunch of stuff that's marked down um, up to thirty percent off. And also, you have free shipping worldwide on any purchase over a hundred dollars U.S. Yes. So, I mean, there's there's all kinds of good stuff here too, like the uh, like the Heroes of the Storm uh, hoodies. Like almost all of the Heroes of the Storm hoodies are on sale right now for like thirty eight, thirty nine bucks when they're fifty five usually. Yep. Um, bunch of StarCraft stuff. Uh, the only Overwatch related thing that's on sale is the um, is the gray track jacket. 
Which, well, let's let's be fair. We, there's just not a whole lot of stuff for Overwatch out right now. Yeah. I mean, we have a bunch of T-shirts and stuff, but those are already only like 24, 25 bucks. So. And the track jacket came down to 38 dollars. So this 12 dollars off. It's a pretty good deal if you're looking to pick one up. You already got one. Yeah. It is pretty good. Um, it's not the black jacket. It is the gray track jacket, the one that you would see me wearing like back when I first started with the show. Yep. But um, I I own both jackets, and I love them both. So, I mean, there's there's no reason to not go and pick them up. Uh, there's just – there's all kinds of stuff on sale, guys. You should go check it out. Definitely. So make sure you get in there. Mm-hmm. All right, on to the Ask Overcast segment. I have no questions in chat, and I have down, I found no questions online this week. I think it's the hey, holiday, so, so that makes things easy. Everybody's yeah. out for the holidays, so everyone's just like, "Ah, eh, screw it. We don't care." That or they got to play, play, so they don't have a lot of questions. Maybe that's what it is. They got to it find is. out for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we do encourage you, though, if you have any questions about the show or especially about Overwatch, just ask us using hashtag #AskOverCast. You can even email us at askovercast at gmail dot com. I uh, I set that email address up. So if you want to contact the show that way, do it. And that brings us to the very end of the show because we've got nothing else to talk about this week. I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving holidays. I know Chris uh, wrecked some pies. Mm-hmm. Yes. Way too many. I, uh, I enjoyed a lot of... I made dressing for the first time from scratch. It was a lot of fun and very, very tasty. I will do it forever. Stuffing? Forever more. Dressing, yeah. stuffing. Stuffing. It depends on where you come from. It is called stuffing. <laughs> Everywhere but the South calls it stuffing. And I, I raised, born and raised in the South. That's why. Stuffing. Stuffing. I made stuffing Thank for you. the first time. I'm from Thank scratch. <laughs> <laughs> so remember to follow us on Twitter at Overcast Show. You can also follow the blog page, theovercastshow.blogspot.com. Listen to the show on the audio version, and thank you for listening, if you are right now, on iTunes and Podbean. The show will also be up, of course, on YouTube, so just watch our Twitter feed for that. And without anything else to say, a very happy holiday to everyone. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Chris, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I will go on studying and be ready for next week. So we'll see you here next week, same time, same place. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Frosty. I'm Chris. We'll see you on the flip side. 